Hi friends, happy Friday. Hey everybody, welcome to the weekend. It's time to party. It's the weekend. How are you guys today on this fabulous Friday? I hope you are feeling fun, feeling fine, feeling fancy free. <laughs> and you are ready to enjoy the fabulousness that the weekend will have to offer. I don't know if I'm staying in this weekend. Um, I might still go out. Who knows? <laughs> How about you? You got anything special planned? Um, I kind of always say that I'm going to stay in. The last couple of weekends, I said I was going to stay inside. Um, but I went out. I couldn't resist it. I couldn't be cooped up. So I did go out. But I don't know if I'm going to do that this weekend because I got some good books to read. And, um, yeah, I kind of just maybe want to keep it on the low low. <laughs> Nothing too crazy. Um, so, yeah, it is Friday. It is time for a Fashionista Friday. It is a Fashionista Friday. So I am going to review a Fashionista today. I know for a long time I wasn't reviewing Fashionistas. I just wasn't having it. Um, but this new line of Fashionistas I'm really, really enjoying. There are I always enjoy the curvy Fashionistas, so I always collect my curvy girls. I have a whole shelf of them up there, um, and I love them. But I just don't love the... I'm going to say it for the umpteenth time. I don't love the solid, cheaply made plastic bodies. They're not really that great to me. But um, I really, really do like what Mattel is doing with the fashionistas. I love the diversity. It is just so amazing that it's really, really hard not to love the fashionistas. And these girls, I'm really, really loving. Now, there's a few that I don't really love that I probably won't put in the collection but it's just a little bit. So today I'm going to review number 126. Ooh, I love this girl. I, I call her Tropical Dimples because she has the cutest, sweetest dimples in her face. Now, when I seen her online, um, other collectors were showing pictures of her. I did not really, really love her. Um, I like the dimples in her face, but there was just something about her that wasn't clicking with me. And then I seen her, I saw her, I laid my two big brown eyes on her at Target. And I said, she is really super, super cute. Um, and I just had to add her to the collection. Now, I don't know what, let me get her out of here before I start talking about her outfit and everything. Let's see if I could get this girl out. Usually they're really easy to pop out of here. Oop, don't want to mess up your hair. Okay, there we go. Use my scissors, cut her out carefully. Okay, there we go. Ah, look at her. She's pretty, right? Look at her cute little face with the dimples. So adorable. And I love her caramel colored skin. It's super, super pretty. And I just love that she's so tropical and adorable. Now, you guys see those yellow circles on her dress? Can you see it? It's all, see them right there? Are those banana chips or are they pineapple rings? I cannot figure it out for the life of me. I want to say they're pineapple chips. I mean, they're banana chips, but maybe they are. Maybe it's both. Banana pineapple. A banapple. <laughs> so her little dress is really, really cute. It's supposed to be sleeveless. So you see the little plastic see-through elastic things on top holding it up. I really would have preferred that it had the little straps on because I'm not a sleeveless kind of guy. But um, it's cute. I love the tropical vibe of it. I like that it's a skirt. I um, kind of think it it kind of fits really, really well. I know I've said I'm sick of the skirts on Barbie. I want some pants or some shorts. But um, I'm really digging this cute little outfit with the skirt. I think it's adorable. And she has the little peekaboo top. So you could see her little belly right there. Nothing too much. She's not flashing too much skin. She wants to stay cool in a tropical breeze without showing all her secrets. <laughs> and um, she has, now her hair is a little thin. I will say that. See, look at all the thinness in the hair. The hair is thin and it's got that shaggy um, uneven thing that I do not love. Um, so I am a little, 
not happy with the thinness of her hair. Uh, I probably will not brush her hair because it's already super, super thin. Um, but it's cute. You know, she's a curvy girl. I love my curvies. Do I wish her hair was a lot better than this quality? Absolutely. Um, but I don't know. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? And I love the little bit of hair that I love that her hair's parted and some of it's on the side in the front of her headband. She does have a headband on. Adorable. So I am loving this girl. Um, the things that I don't love about her, of course, is she has really, really super thin hair. But it might just be this doll. They might not all have super, super thin hair. Um, and of course, she's not poseable. <laughs> but that's okay. I love the... I kind of... Okay, here's the thing. I love the flats, but I don't love these shoes for this outfit. I feel like she should have wore a sandal. I think Mattel misses it on the shoes that they match with the outfits. I'm just going to get that out there. Because I don't think she would wear these shoes with this dress. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm by no means a fashion icon, but I'm just saying she would have been a little bit cuter. I'm going to go with sandals. I think that would have looked a lot better, even if they were like super fashionable sandals. Um, they would have looked a lot better, but I love her little face. I love the dimples. She is super, super cute. And another thing I love about this line of fashionistas is... Um, I love the inside where it comes with this little card you could cut out and it says you are strong, independent, and will go far. I love that. They should have did this from the beginning. I love the little inspirational quotes inside. You could clip it, hang it up somewhere, and it's adorable and fabulous. And another thing I was going to say, what I noticed about this current line of fashionistas is the girls have more of a natural look. They don't have so much makeup on. I think there's a few that do have um makeup on there's a couple but the most for the most part the girl's makeup is really really neutral and i really really love that even though i come from the barbie land of where barbie has 50 million pounds of makeup on which i don't mind she's beautiful something about it looks really good on barbie um so she's adorable i like her i would definitely recommend her for your fashionista collection i know some of you guys don't like to collect fashionistas and i hear you there but um, this one is a cutie. So there you guys go. This has been my review of Fashionista 126. I call her Tropical Dimples. <laughs> and she is a stunner. So thank you guys so much for tuning into this week of shows. I can't believe we've already made it through another week. These weeks just go by so quick. Pretty soon we're going to be in 2020. I heard somebody going, 2020, here we come. And I was like, slow it down. I am not ready for another year to be over. I want to enjoy it. I want to take my time. So, yeah. So, here we are, guys. Already a Friday. So, let's just enjoy it. Enjoy this beautiful gift called life. Take it easy as much as we possibly can and enjoy your Friday night. Enjoy your Saturday and your Sunday. I will not be with you, but I will be back on Magical Monday. So have a magical weekend. Have a blast out there and just um, remember to love and respect everybody as much as you possibly can and just have a good time. So remember to love your family, love your friends, but most importantly, love yourself. Be kind, stay positive, and until we meet again in this Barbie fashionista world, you guys have a magical day, have a magical weekend. I'll see you back here on Magical Monday. Bye-bye, guys.